Hello and welcome to gfxtoday.com Today I'm going to show you how to make color grading in your videos to turn your video from this to this import my video here right click and new sequence from clip press ctrl k to cut from here ctrl k delete this one delete this one and ripple delete this thing now i'm going to unlink so ctrl l to unlink and delete the audio layer then i'm going to the effects and open the video effects and go down there to magic bullet now this magic bullet is a plugin that i installed and it has the colorista on it and this is the one that I'm going to use. I'm going to apply this effect to my clip in here and you will find in the effects controls the colorista is in there. Now what is wrong about this and this is what most people do is just go down there to the curves and go to the red channel and start decreasing the red channel like this. What's wrong with this is we don't get the tone colors from the skins like the reddish color from the skins and this thing right here so so this is wrong because our effect is applied to all the video so the best way to do this is I'll just undo and I go to edit in here this will allow me to create separate masks for each color so from here I can choose the tone I want and then add to selection and start adding all these tones from here like this you can see the mask here what is going to be affected and what is not what i do like to do is clip the white areas to make this more white and clip the black areas to get rid of all these unwanted ones now another good thing to do is to increase the smoothness so that we don't get sharp edges from here now I'm going to invert the mat and press ok so what this will allow me to do is any effect I will do in here will just affect the background and not my skin tone so if I go to the red channel and start decreasing it you will see that my skin here isn't being affected now also I like to go to the RGB and start a little bit and go to saturation and start decreasing saturation a little bit also. something like this now I'm going to file new and adjustment layer and on this adjustment layer I like to add a crop effect so I'm going to effect by crop and add this crop here and go to crop from the top I'm going to add 15 and bottom 15 percent so this will help to add this effect that we have go to position press on the stopwatch and go to the end of my clip maybe from here take it from there like this maybe also we get to the last, last keyframe right click interpretation and ease in so this will make it go slower when the camera goes up it will make it slower so this will add a good camera movement to our scene it makes it more dynamic and like if someone is holding the camera so this is basically all what I do and let's go to after effects and show you the method on after effects 2 now we'll do the same thing in Adobe After Effects just in case if you are working with After Effects you can do this too so we'll get our clip hold down to the new composition so this will make a new composition again go to let's make this fit and go to where you want go to the end of your video and get this hold down 
about you. So this is our clip. We can put it on the first of our video. Now go to effects, magic bullet, colorista, and this will add the same effect in After Effects in here. So again, I've got to edit. You can mute this track from here. Also, we can add this cropping effect. Right click, new, solid. Make sure it's red color, that's okay. This will add the solid color on the top layer. So we'll get the mask, rectangle, and let's create a mask from here to like there. And then we'll go to our mask and press invert. So this will invert our mask like this. Now to add the position, press on this layer for the video, press P on the keyboard to get the position, press on the stopwatch, and move this, move your video from here to there. And to make this easy, easy, just press F9 and it will make the movement go slower when it ends. And of course, after adding some more clips to it and some sound effects and audio together, we'll get something like this. Thank you for watching and make sure to hit the subscribe button down there to see more of my video tutorial. Thank you for watching, I am Abanob and this is gfxtoday.com.